Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my first tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how I installed a uh, Blue Nami uh, 2200 uh, sound decoder into this Brick Train Depot uh, GP30 uh, model. So I bought all of the uh, electronic parts I needed um, from a website called lifelights.com. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Uh, so unboxing here. This is an adapter board for the decoder. Or uh, two micro LED lights for the headlights. The actual uh, Blue Nami decoder. A Soundtrax uh, 28 millimeter speaker and also this cool uh, 3D printed speaker enclosure um, that they sell for it as well. So these are all the parts that we're going to use for our install today. The one part uh, that wasn't in the box there is this uh, 9 volt battery box. I uh, just bought it off Amazon um, as well as a lithium ion rechargeable 9 volt battery. That's going to be the power supply. Here is just a picture of all the uh, electronic parts that are going to go into our build. So this model uses the uh, modern uh, Lego functions uh, powered up train motors. So the first step we're going to do is uh, cut the plug off. It's important to note um, your pins. The main power, your plus and minus power, um, are going to be number one and two. They're on the right side of the ribbon cable. So I'm cutting to separate those two wires at the top of the cable there if you're, if you're looking down at it. So I'm separating these two out and then these, you know, these are the only two wires that we're going to use. Uh, the rest of them we can just cut off uh, so that they're not interfering or taking up space. It is a little bit tricky doing this, um, trying to get the wires separated uh, without tearing the uh, the Lego um, heat shrink. Uh, if you do, it's not a big deal. All you got to do is just either replace it. So I finally have the uh, plus and minus wires separated. I'm gonna cut off the remaining wires uh, as they're not needed and they'll just take up space. So now we just have our two plus or minus leads to our motor. Anywhere, um, as you can see, here's our Blue Nami decoder. I've put the uh, life light adapter board on. All that consists of is disconnecting the original wire and harness from soundtracks and plugging in the uh, life light adapter board. Same thing um, on the speaker. You just unplug uh, this original wire and harness as the life light has already pre wired uh, the plug in for us on our 28 millimeter speaker that is inside of our uh, 3D printed um, speaker housing there. We got our nine volt battery box that I showed you earlier. It's hooked up. And then we have our first uh, truck here that is hooked up there. Um, over here, we have the app. That's what I'm gonna do. Battery box, I'm gonna turn power on. Near the, uh, the startup sequence beginning.
So it should be auto connected over here. I guess the glass um, short. So here we've installed the two LifeLight micro LEDs into our headlight housing. Uh, they're specially designed for this. They just go straight under the clear Lego uh, plastic lenses and they just plug straight into our LifeLight adapter board, uh, making the in installation very simple. So here's the headlight housing uh, attached to the rest of our uh, roof section. See the wires are so small that you can actually pretty easily pinch them um, in, be in between the Lego bricks without any problem at all. So um, we're just gonna feed them straight down through the cab. And when we flip it over, our wires come uh, straight down to the bottom there where we will wired up to the rest of our setup. Next part to install will be our speaker housing. Uh, put a couple uh, one by two uh, plates on the top there and it slides right into this uh, open cavity of the locomotive here in the bottom and uh, provides a great sound. There's nothing blocking the sound uh, escaping the locomotive. So here we've added the uh, decoder and the jumper board. They fit very nicely um, up in the front. When wiring your motors together with this setup, it's important to wire it in series rather than parallel um, to help reduce the amperage because the Blue Nami 2200 has a max two amp uh, motor stall current limitation on it. Also, you want your motors running in opposite directions so to do this, you're gonna wire your number uh, two wire on your first motor to your number two wire on your second motor. And then the number one wires will plug into your motor output. So now we have everything wired up and we're going to now uh, put all the pieces back on, get it buttoned up and we'll show you it uh, running on the track. <laughs> 